performance of uh, a previous scorecard media briefing, uh, but uh, for those that have not uh, been present before, I would like to talk just a little bit about our methodology and our comparison markets that we use in this analysis. Um, the data sets that we use um, were developed uh, through a series of working group meetings and with the input of the, the Partnerships Board of Directors and Executive uh, Committee. Uh, we have six different categories, and within those six categories, a total of 25 indicators. Um, within each category, uh, the indicators are equally weighted. We don't, for instance, put a higher premium on uh, job gains than we do on labor force uh, growth. Um, and the categories themselves are equally weighted as well. Um, we, we weight uh, that the housing category at, at the same level as we do the jobs and employment category. Uh, one of, one of the tenets that we adhere to with the scorecard is that we, we get our data from reliable sources that are available for, for each of our comparison regions and that we compile it into an easy to read format, i.e. the scorecard where uh, you know, we just, just like a round of golf, uh, you, you add up the points at the end and whoever is uh, lowest is, is perceived to be the best. Uh, so with that, just a brief note about our comparison regions. We have two uh, markets in Florida, Tampa Bay and Jacksonville. Of course, our Tampa Bay region is eight counties stretching from Citrus to Sarasota and from Pinellas eastward to Polk. It's 4.2 million people and, and 2 million workers. Uh, the Jacksonville uh, economic region of five counties, uh, significantly smaller in, in, in both residents and workers, uh, 1.3 million population and just under 700,000 workers in Jacksonville. Uh, the Atlanta, uh, the large Atlanta region, 28 counties, 5.5 uh, million residents, and 2.7 million workers. Uh, we have uh, Dallas as, as part of our comparison uh, regions within this scorecard, uh, 12 counties, uh, 5.4 million residents, and 3.2 million workers. And then uh, two uh, Carolinian regions, one wholly within the state of uh, North Carolina, the Raleigh-Durham um, area, seven counties, 1.6 million residents, and just under 830,000 workers. And then the Charlotte metro area, which, which bridges uh, two states, uh, five counties in North Carolina and one in South Carolina, 1.7 million workers and uh, just under 800, 1.7 million residents and just under 860,000 workers. Uh, these comparison regions were chosen uh, at, 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 at the onset of our scorecard, and our first scorecard was in 2005, 2006 right in that uh, winter time frame. Um, and they were, they were chosen at that time because they represented uh, those metros with which the Tampa Bay region was most frequently um, shortlisted for uh, job creation and capital investment projects, as well as those regions uh, may have possessed a, a quality or two that um, represented a, a, a best in class, i.e. Raleigh-Durham and, and their innovation. And we wanted to see how well we were do, doing relative to Raleigh-Durham's innovation ecosystem. Uh, so those, uh, those are the regions and the, the, the reasons for why they were chosen. Uh, the categories that we measure, and again, each of these categories is equally weighted. Uh, employment and workforce, income and productivity, housing, innovation, education, and transportation. Uh, you can 